Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over yonder. Pink tie today. Look at you. Yes. Uh, it's Wait. the whole uh, uh, 13 Friends for Life thing. Oh, the 13th wonderful, every wonderful. Month we wear pink. So, you know, and I've always been big in the breast cancer game. Do the, yes. do the thing. As anybody should be. For a cause. Yes, absolutely. Make sure they're, so. they're good. We want to keep you healthy. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, have a new, I have a new shirt to unveil today. Are you ready? Yeah, let's see it. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope up there. There's, there they are. The dynamic duo right, themselves. Cool. Take a look. Very That's sweet. right. Love me some Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, like that. And, uh, and, yeah, I, Max wasn't interested. He loved Wreck-It Ralph because we yeah. saw it in the movie theater. He wasn't as interested in going to see the second I'll, one. So. I'll tell you what. But, but you know He'll what he wants it. to see? And, and, no, and I, we will eventually see it. I think right. we'll probably wait till it comes out, though. Oh, don't do uh, that. On, on demand that's what i think because he really wants to see the pg version of dead of uh, uh deadpool the christmas deadpool thing that's like a pg-13 fred savage is in it okay kind of reprising his uh was it the never ending so what what was the what Wonder was the years. movie where he was a little kid no the movie where he oh uh he, he was his, um and the movie he was in it was the princess bride story. yeah yeah, Princess Bride. Yeah, he kind of reprises that role as himself now. He, he, Deadpool like uh, uh, has him tied up in his bed, and he's going to tell him this this story. Okay. So it's well. So yeah, I, I I think that I think that's supposed to come out this week. So I might. Okay. Who knows? I might take him to that. Well, I tell I you this: Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet. It, it's kind that of looks uh, really good. They amp it up a little bit. See, I'm more. I'm, I think I'm more interested in seeing it than he is, but I can't see it without. I can't right. go. I can't go see a cartoon by myself. I just can't. Oh, you it. could too. Sure. No, I can't. Yeah. No. There's there's a scene in Wreck It Ralph breaks the internet where all the Disney princesses dress way down. They're like in jeans and tank tops and things like that. <laughs> oh, dude, don't don't spoil it for me. <laughs> I wanna, it's cool. I wanna experience it's a cool movie. Things, it really I... is all the way around. Okay. Very good. Noted. Mental note. Do some news. I'm all uh, right all here. Right. I am. All right. Let's get into it. A federal judge has. Sentenced former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen to three years in prison for various crimes, including campaign finance violations and tax evasion, as well as lying to Congress. Cohen will also have to pay more than one million dollars in restitution. Cohen, of course, was Trump's personal attorney for more than a decade. We'll see if this touches anybody else. I I don't know. I think you he didn't want to get prison time. He tried not to get prison time. But with everything going on, they, they don't know who they're going to get. And and who they're going to be able to get. So whoever gets caught up in this is going to get it, get the hammer thrown at him. Mm -hmm. I mean, because should he get prison time, really, based on other things some people have done, especially lawyers? I probably not. But it's understandable given the given the high uh, visibility of the case okay. and who it could touch. So, and we'll see if anything else comes comes from it. I you know. I thought they'd get him on campaign finance. I thought they'd get Trump on campaign finance, but it ain't over yet. Uh, we'll, we'll, I, I will be like I said. I, there's no way. I, I will say. Do you want to? You want to? You want to place another bet? There's no way. No. Uh, Trump serves gets gets arrested for anything uh, as president. Okay. That will not happen. No, I do. I would not like to place a bet. But thank okay. you for the sure? offer. Sure. I'm good. That's what, that's all I'm going to say with that. I, I like to. I like to give people chances to win money back. It's I'm a giver. It's oh, the holiday you season. You are Season's a giving creepy. soul. I, you know, Season's right creepy. next, right next to the word "giver" in the in the Webster's dictionary. There's your picture. Yes, absolutely. Seen I it? think it should be. It, it's not it there yet. It should be. Well, it's the if it is there, it's not shocking because of how you know how giving I am. I'm with you. Anyway, uh, the Boy Scouts of America may file for bankruptcy. The scout leadership has hired a law firm to look into a possible chapter 11 filing. No immediate decisions are expected to be made, but you know they got a lot of lawsuits to deal with and they've actually had a spokesman come out and say hey say, you know, we've got these these you know sexual assault accusations against some people and it's kind of it's I don't want to put it at the level of the Catholic Church what they right. what they've had to deal with as far as that goes, but it's it's up there and it's sad to see because you know those are you know, organizations that have done good things for kids in the past and and help y grow l little boys to be young men and uh, upstanding members of society and you and they got to deal with this and you yeah. you know you can't you can't turn away from it so. 
We shall see. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, next story uh, you and I have been harping on forever, forever. Hundreds attended a meeting Wednesday night in Fruitport to discuss yes. a possible casino and hotel south of Muskegon. The Little, Little River Band of Ottawa Indians wants to build the resort at the former site of the Great Lake Downs Racetrack on Harvey Street, just south of I-96. Vast majority in the area support the proposal. Vast majority supported it three years ago. Right. Uh, of course, it would bring uh, jobs and much needed revenue. I think the benefits for this, this to me is just such a no brainer. It, the, it far, the benefits far outweigh any potential negatives. And I can't pretend there hey. aren't potential negatives when it's Dude. casino, but jobs, revenue, I mean, you can't. It, it's, here's, here's where it's at. Okay. It is a gear. It is, it is part of the puzzle that's going to help Muskegon and our surrounding areas get things really moving again, right. right? We've done a great job getting things going downtown. We've done a great job with some business expansion here and there. We've lost a couple of things over the years too recently, and that, that just happens. But, and I, and I said this three years ago when, when they were here last time talking, casino is not the answer. It's, it's not the 100% fix. However, it is a major gear in making Absolutely. everything turn in town because it's an anchor. It is right. a destination. It is a reason for people to come this way, and it's upon everybody else in Muskegon and the surrounding areas to say, okay, we've got this. How do we capitalize on it and get people the next eight miles into town and show them a good time? Because, A, right. when a casino comes to town, you know you're bringing in a class of people, and I'm not saying I'm not class dividing here at all, but you're bringing in a group of people that have some disposable income, that are looking right. for some entertainment, they're looking for Absolutely. a place to go, they're looking for something to do. The casinos to start. How do we get them in the rest of the way to finish it off? And how do we show them that this is a place that you'd like to come? You know That's what you're going to get. And, and the big, the big thing when I look at when I look at this, and and I thought it was it was huge for for a town like Wayland, which is just south of where I grew up. I mean, sure. that has done amazing things for that small city. And it because it's not just bringing in folks from Wayland; it's bringing in folks from Grand Rapids. Now yep. you have Muskegon. the The difference between um, Gun Lake and Grand Rapids, and Grand Rapids to Great Lakes Downs, about the same. Yep. You're gonna get a lot of influx of of, of GR people. That means East Grand Rapids money. That means Forest Hills money. That means uh, a, pick your you know pick yep. your surrounding area. And and that's what you want. You want and you got to keep in mind too. In, spending time. You, you got to start throwing and, in at places like Saugatuck. You got to start throwing in right. Grand Haven. You got to start thinking about. I mean, what because we have. We're all thinking to go, before they were going to go up to Manistee. Yeah. You know, I mean, and, now, and, that, and some that's... and some still will, which right. is great. But what we right. have here is a destination. What we have here is an anchor. What we have here is something to build around, right. and that's why I am all for it. And you know the the possible the possibility uh, that that some could end up in 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 trouble over it with with a problem it is there. They but shut dude, down all the I'm going to come back to the no. same thing. It's been 15 years since I've had a drink. Okay, right. there is a liquor store on every corner of any town in in the USA, every corner, right. and nobody's worried about me. And you know, so I, to to the to, to those who can't handle gambling or, or things like that, there's got to be some personal responsibility thrown in here, and you just have to, to know that that's not your place. I, I'm 10 minutes, 10, maybe 15 minutes from the from the Gun Lake Casino, yep. and I'm not there a ton. I go there on on occasion, sure. but in, nobody likes to nobody likes to, likes to blackjack as much as I do. I mean, I love it. Right. It's awesome. It's a rush. But you, you got to be responsible, and that's Absolutely. with everybody. It's like people, you know these these places aren't you know these these dens of inequity you, you make them out to be. These are some no. really cool people that you know I've met there at these places, and it's it's good. It really is cool, yep. and it would be great for Muskegon and the surrounding areas uh, if they can make this happen sooner rather than later. I stand that's by them. I stand behind them one hundred percent. Very cool. All good right, people. sports. It was Charlotte over the Pistons, 108 to 107. Thursday night football tonight. It's the Chiefs and the Chargers. Uh, that's sports. Have yourself a great Thursday, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. See ya.